This tutorial is for second grade, module seven, lesson six. In this lesson, we begin to look at money. We want the students to be able to first recognize the coins and know their values. To find the total of the coins, we are going to ask them to use their skip counting skills. Meaning, if I look at this first row of coins, we don't want the students to have to count one, two, three, four, five for the nickel and then six, seven, eight for the pennies. We'd like them to start with five for the nickel, six, seven, eight, to show that there's eight cents. Now, some students might see five right away for the nickel and three pennies and add five plus three in their heads to get the eight cents, which is fine. Again, we just want to make sure that they're starting off with five and not having to count to five to show the nickel. Using that same reasoning for the next question, we're starting with a dime. So we'll start with 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 to show that it's 14 cents or 10 plus four pennies is 14 cents. For question three, I start with a dime. That would be 10, now I have nickels, 15, 20, 25. 25 cents, or a student might be able to see this in their head that we have 10 for the dimes, 15 cents for the nickels, and 10 plus 15 is 25. If they can do that mentally, that's fine. And the next question, I have a dime, so I'm going to start with 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Or I can think in my head, 10 and five is 15 and four pennies is 19. We're going to do the same thing in these problems, but as you can see, the coins are no longer lined up in any sort of order. They're kind of scattered. It is usually more efficient when counting money to start with the biggest value. So on problem number 12, I'm going to start with the quarter. I'm going to check off the coins as I count them just so I know I don't forget any. So we'll start with 25, and then I'm going to use my dimes, 35, 45, 55, 65, and a nickel would be 70. The total is 70 cents. Same thing for the next question. I'll start with my quarters. I have 25, 50, 55, 56 cents. Starting with the larger value makes it a little bit easier. And again, checking off the coins as we use them helps us remember to add up all the coins. 